In today's video, we're opening a massive mystery box. That's it's mystery. I don't know what's in here. I know who this is from. I don't remember exactly what they said. They kind of gave me a vague idea of what's in here. So let's just open it up and find out. It's very large. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. So right off the bat, we have note. Very simple. So let's see what the note says right off the bat. These note videos are sometimes fun. Boxes with notes that have like a challenge or something. I think that might be what this is. Hey Ruxin, I've been enjoying the content lately and had an idea for an opening. Included in this package are a booster box and a mystery box of sealed products. To keep it fair, I spent an equal amount on both sides. So we have an equal battle, I guess here. The challenge is simple. Whichever side ends up with the most value wins. Seems pretty simple. I'm curious to see which side you and the community think will win. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments which side you think will win. I'm sure we'll figure out what the sides are exactly soon. Mystery box versus sealed product. Good luck and I hope you can pull something cool. Happy. This is Happy who has sent us multiple mystery boxes before. They're usually like the crazy ones where it's like, you know, you're trying to match it to the duelist and stuff. We'll put those up on the screen because they were really fun before. Go check those two out if you didn't see them because that's the most fun I've had in a long time opening those two boxes. It's really cool. You can include any promos in the final value. You can open packs in any order. Okay, so not so confusing. Last time it was a confusing order, but it turned out really exciting. This time less confusing. We'll see how the products are inside. Here we go. I'm gonna, I took it off the, the tripod so you guys can actually see as we're opening up this box and I got a lot of a lot of stuff uh not that i need any more packaging but i guess i can always use more okay troll and toad has been labeled on there i don't know if they bought from troll and toad potentially maybe, well at some point they did uh okay oh maybe it's all in there is it all in there there's a lot of oh no there we go we got something in there this is the behind the scenes that i usually skip but i want you guys to be involved in the opening guys you guys get to see as we open it up so here's the box Okay, we have the first box. It's amazing that in the my old apartment, I didn't even have room to do what we just did, which was put the box on the floor and look through it. There wasn't any floor space, so it's great that I can do that now. Uh, not that it adds too much to the video, but I, I like to for you guys to actually be able to see the box that we're like going through. All right, I don't know which side is which, so this I'm guessing is the non-mystery product because it's pretty small and it's most likely loose. But, oh wait, maybe? Oh, it's a booster box. Oh wait, did he say that? He might've said that. The booster box is, oh, Crimson Crisis. All right, we're not talking about a new booster box. That's pretty old school. So he wants to do this one. I think he, now it's coming back to me. I think he said this was, was about 240 bucks, something like that. So I think it's a mystery product value of about 240, I think is what he said, somewhere around there. We can check with what it's worth right now. Cause that was about a month ago when we were first talking about it. So we'll see what the value's at right now. Okay, now for mystery product. I don't know if he means just random packs in terms of like, this is a mystery box full of random packs or if like he got actual mystery product from Walmart or what? Not very like if it's mystery products from Walmart, not much would fit in here and it feels pretty heavy. So I don't think it's that. OK. Oh, this is oh, OK. This is definitely some cool stuff. So I think what I'm going to do just to keep a little suspense in the video is we're going to go back and forth. We're going to open a couple here. We're going to grab something out of the mystery box and go there and go back and forth. So Crimson Crisis versus the unknown mystery box. Make your choice now about which will win. But before we start the opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Dual Saga Dark Magician. We have Relinquished from SDP First Ed and a Pharaoh Servant Original Buster Blader. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know who will win. Will it be the booster box of Crimson Crisis or will it be the random mystery box that you can't see? Worth about 240 bucks. All right, let's get right to it. Let's hope Happy can get some amazing pulls. Shout out to Happy in the comments. Make sure you do that for providing a $500 box to open up. I mean, 240 plus 240, almost 500. So shout out to Happy. Hopefully we get some amazing pulls so that he can make some money back out of that. Uh, I'm going to shuffle these up for the fun of it. Crimson Crisis tends to have uh, five Ds is usually like nine foils, 10 foils, something like that. But you never really know in this five Ds era, especially like stuff like Absolute Power Force. I don't know if Crimson Crisis is similar. Sometimes you just get terrible ratio sometimes you get great ratio sometimes you just pull like high rarity sometimes you pull all supers it's really weird the consistency with them is a lot more random than it is currently with booster boxes where they're super consistent with two secrets you know four, four ultra stuff like that okay crimson crisis if we get a ghost rare today i'd be very happy we recently pulled a very big uh starlight rare we hadn't pulled yet so make sure you go check out that video whoa okay upside down i think it's three from the back that Probably saved me from Ultra Rooks and Special. We have Assault Mode Activate. We're going to have the uh, totals on the screen, so you'll be able to see if you were correct on your guess. Don't cheat. You know, give your, give your fair guess. We have Sirocco. We have Inmato. And a super rare Twilight Rose Knight starting it off already with a foil. I am out of sleeves, of course. So where are my other sleeves? Got to find those. All right, I think I'll open three packs from the box and then go to the mystery box. I don't know exactly how many packs. There seems like there's a lot of packs in the mystery box, so... 
or a lot of stuff at least. One, two, three, three, not four. We have Nightwing Sorceress. We have Metaphysical Regeneration, Vengeful Serpent, Summon Reactor SK, Psychic Sword, Salt Slash, Beeless Soldier, Alien Ammonite, and the Assault Overload. I'm wondering if the foils are going to be upside down in this box, because that first one was. Sometimes it's, you know, the quality control, as I said, with these 5D sets, it was different in, like, the cards are pretty nice, like, the quality's pretty good on them, but, like, the order and the pack composition and the foils you get were not great, so it was, like, a different problem than the OGs where... Well, I guess there's some edging there, but the OGs where everything was off-centered and some of it was in bad condition, there was scuffing on the back. We're trying to mix up. We have a Star Blast and oh, the Blackwing Armor Master. That's a good one. Four Blackwings does have some reprints these days, but QCR version, Starlight version, all that stuff. But this is the original ultra rare. So that's pretty cool. All right, hot start for the booster box side. Let's go to the mystery box, which has a Return of the Duelist special edition, which I'm pretty excited to open up. This is a pretty fun set. There's some cool ultis. There's a ghost in here. We've pulled the ghost like four times out of this set. We've had really good luck with it. So we have, and by the way, it said promos count toward the value. So I'm thinking that's going to help mystery box. So inside we have, I don't know if this is a dollar card. I don't think it is. Number 30. We can put that value up. If it, it will put the value up, it'll only count if it's over a dollar though. Count toward the total, I should say. We have Return of the Duelist. Three packs coming your way. There's the Gladiator Beast card right at the front. We have one, two, three. All right. Chronomaly Pyramid Eye Tablet. Gear Gear Accelerator. Lucky Punch. Impenetrable Attack. Trance Magic Swordsman. We have Turnabout. Photon Caesar. Spellbook of Wisdom and my Dolce Bapple. That sounds like a <laughs> that sounds like a Pokemon. Like the uh, they always the Frapple, I think, is one of them. The Apple Dragon or whatever. Applin evolve. I think it evolves in a Frapple or something like that. It's some I don't know. It's kind of cool though. We have Compulsory Escape Device, Golden Jet, Catapult Zone, Catapult Zone. We have Strength of Prophecy, Light Raven Door. I can't speak. Revival Golem and a Chew Bone. It's Chewbacca after the fact. Third return of the duelist, which Chewbacca is not dead, I don't think, in current canon, but of course in the uh, you know expanded universe, not great. So we have a heroic ch heroic challenger, we have Chronomaly Golden Jet, heroic challenger Sword Shield, S uh, Strength of Prophecy, Light Ray Medor, Medolce Chateau, Medolce Butteresque, Chronomaly Crystal Bones. And Charioteer of Prophecy. So uh, that was a big offer for the mystery box side. I think there's a few more in the mystery box, a few more packs, like maybe like four or five more packs total than the booster box. So I feel like they're the high roll potential of the mystery box is a lot higher than the booster box. But there's, you know, it's, it could just be all nothing. You know, you're not guaranteed to get anything. We have Morphtronic Map. We have Mysterious Triangle, half or nothing. Morphtronic Rusty Engine, Wall of Thorns, little magic card. And Vernon Sanctuary. So two for four so far in this booster box. One ultra, one super. You can get secrets. You can get ulties. You can get a ghost. I've never pulled this ghost before, so it'd be pretty nice. Let's see if we can do it. We have Blackwing Sirocco, the Dawn, Ebon Arrow, Trap Reactor Wi-Fi, Blackwing Boar, the Spear, Raptor Wing Strike, Indomitable Gladiator Beast, Summon Reactor SK, Maiko, the Magical Mist, and Assault Counter. Okay, how many is that? Is that? That was only two packs right here, right? All right, let's go for our third pack, and then we'll go back to the mystery box. The score is not super high right now. Let's try to get Happy something good. He's got a couple of decent pulls out of this box so far. Metaphysical Regeneration, Burden Sanctuary, Morphtronic Borden, Morphtronic Mix-Up, B-List Soldier, Morphtronic Force Field, Spell Reactor Re we have Assault Armor and Flip Flop Frog. The frogs are flipping and they are flopping. Okay, I'm going to go for the second special edition in here. This is the other one that's available. We have the, it's technically a super edition, not because I didn't open this, I don't think. Or did I open this in every special edition opening? Go check out that out, by the way, when we open every special edition ever made. I'm not sure if I included the super editions or not, because they're technically not special editions, but I mean, look at them. They're basically special editions. Super editions, I what, they have 14 different promos or something like that? Yeah, 14 promos. It's like the only difference is you have more promos and make it harder to get the one you know the actual promos but it's probably some of them are actually good cards at least at the time i would hope okay we have satellite regale i think the knights were pretty good i doubt that's money now but maybe it is a dollar who knows secrets of eternity we got to search for that farfa let's see if we can pull it i'm gonna do three from the back till we figure out the pack trick we have the super heavy samurai soul beads you pretty much can't go wrong with three from the back except in collector rare sets we have rise falcon unizombie whoa i forgot that was it is this the original printed unizombie that's really good you will send you perform pal call Rampangan, we have double trap hole. Got him, second call. And go, 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 golden form. Wow, mystery box side, you are uh, 
This is what we call a big whiff so far for you. You got to do better than this. You got Concealer Twinkle, Echo, Oscillation, Rux and Special, Raid Raptor, Rise Falcon, Dodo -do Witch, Illusion Balloons, Super Heavy Samurai, Soul Piercer, Performal Pal Call, Tenacity of the Monarchs, and Performal Pal Friend Donkey. Donkey! Shrek. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Last pack of Secrets of Eternity here. We have the Concealer Twinkle. Can we get that Ghost Rare Malakota of the... Is it a... It's not the Burning Abyss, I don't think. Maybe it is. Rux and Special. Pendulum Shift. Rux and Special again. Infernoid. Performer Pal Spike Eagle. Raid Raptor Vanishing Lanius. I've used those before when I did my Master Duel series of one episode. Metal Bl Branch and Echo Oscillation. Okay, back to the main booster box where we have 18 more packs. This is going to be a longer video. Sit back, relax, enjoy it uh, because, yeah, I know it might take a while. Sorry about that, guys. I know you guys really like the long videos, but if you don't like long videos, you might have to tackle this one in multiple days. Half or nothing. We're trying to rusty engine. We have super solar nutrient, Myco the magical mist. And metaphysical regeneration. It's so funny that they printed Maiko, uh, the mist that the Summon Skull uses from the very first like season of the anime. And it's in a 5Ds box. Kind of like Chimera getting a weird print for the first time here. During 5Ds, they were feeling a little nostalgic. They're like, let's go back to the anime. Let's hit up those cards that we did never make. There's Frog the Jam, powered up. Okay, well, are we going to get something good? We have not pulled anything in the last six packs. Sending Lost Star, we have Hydra Viper, Slingin, Frog, we have a Psychic Sword, Assault Slash, Morphtronic Map, Flying Fortress, Skyfire, and a Black Salvo. There's a foil. So only one of them has been upside down. So it seems like they're not all going to be upside down, which is good. Black Salvo, a little bomb from like a soup, like a Mario Party or something like that. Next item, we have the Unknown Yu-Gi-Oh! product. We had two unknown Yu-Gi-Oh products, a Super Edition and a Deluxe Edition. So we've opened this a couple times recently because it seems like people have been buying these. They're a cool product. They have nine packs inside, you know, a lot of cool stuff. OK, yeah. And then you got the side. You, another cool thing is you could stand them both ways to display. You can go sideways. You can go right side up. I mean, it's pretty nice. Then you get like this box if you open it up. And then here on the end is where it tells you what you get. So you get your promos, you get your nine packs, you get a few sleeves, some foil cards. So let's just open this thing up. There's nine packs. So uh, we're going to have to like, you know, alternate with these. That's OK, though. All right. Here is the cool box you get inside. It's very like a ETB from Pokemon. You get all your cards out. So there is a promo. You get to count this promo pack. I'm guessing this is a couple of bucks to add to the score, which I mean, that might be their first official points. Some sleeves. Uh, those are Probably worth a couple bucks as well. Uh, that probably not worth anything. And then nine packs. All right, let's see if we can get that Madolce Chicolate. So I'm wondering if there's any uh, metal raiders to get the almost through those cards. Those, those they were flying all over the place. Okay, we have XC's reception. We have Trap Tricks and Nephethys. Oh, and right off the bat, the Chicolates, Chicka Chicolates. You love to see that. We have Reverse Glasses, Calibrator, Fishborg Archer, Rux is special, Intercept Tomato. That's a good card in here as well. We have Bijan Incarnation. Oh, and a secret rare transmodify. Don't think this is an amazing card, but surely a secret can get to $1, right? It's going to pop up like 15 cents or something over here. Hopefully it's more than that. Uh, okay, we'll take it. Not bad. Secret rare right off the bat. I usually get like high rarity cards out of these deluxe editions. So hoping that continues even farther than that transmodify. We have Junk Blade at Rux and Special. Seize Reception. We have Nephthys. Rooks and special. We have another intercept tomato. That's good stuff. We have we wait. We have in tomato and intercept tomato in today's opening. Interesting. We have the atmosphere. We have Xyz agent, uh, trap tricks, atrax, and the umbral horror ghoul. He's a ghoul. Can we get a ghost rare star eater? It'd be pretty amazing. Black and white wave, umbral, junk, vein, bujingi, sagasso, star seraph. We have brother of the virus boar. And a Bujin Yamato. Okay, an ultra rare Bujin Yamato. One of the best Bujin cards, especially right off the bat. Like early on, this is what, like the main card you want to go to. This is the thing that can use all the Bujin effects. Okay, there's actually another thing in the mystery box that I didn't see. So I'm going to open a few extra Judgment of the Light just so it's fair. Why is this upside down? I don't know. Okay, we figured it out. We have Xyz Revenge Shuffle. Almost shuffled him up. We had Fire Ferret. Black and white. Wait, wait. I didn't see that one. Okay, another upside down card. Weird. Sargasso. Bujingi Wolf. V Salamander. And Trap Tricks Trap Old Nightmare. This was our big win in our $1,000 investment last year. Not this card from this. Uh, this card, but not from this set. We actually got the ultimate rare. So uh, that's good to see that. Trap Tricks Trap Old Nightmare. I'm guessing it went down by now because Trap Tricks kind of cooled off. But they were hot for a while. Cheap, cheap, cheap. We've got Xyz Revenge Shuffle. Fencing Fire Ferret. The Calibrator. Cataboo, we have Bumble Warrior Uniform, Vertical Landing, Torbus of the Forbidden Realms, 
And spell recycler. Let's try another one. The score is still pretty close, I think, which is pretty wild. We have Bujingi Turtle. We have Spell Recycler. Can we get something big out of either of these? Because so far, both sides are kind of just, you know, we're pulling stuff, but not too much. We have Mech Phantom Beast and Yellow Dustin. Gross. Judgment of the Light so far. We got in what? A Bujin. We got an Ultra Super and a Secret. It's pretty good. We just need an Ulti and a Ghost now. We have Sonic Boom. Yellow Dustin. Bujin Turtle. We have a Swartz Child Limit. We have uh, Xyz, we have Star Seraph Scout, Archbeam Pell Aberth, and Super Defense Robot Leo. A Leo. All right, two more chances to get ulti and ghost. So we got, we got to hit on both of these to get both and get all the rarities out of here. We have Sargasso, Super Defense Robot, Sonic Boom, Bujin Wolf. We have Zara Ort, Xyz Agent, Shark Cesar, Bujingi Crane, and Bujing Relia, the swords. We're getting all the Bujin cards, but we're not getting an Ultramint or a Ghost. I take just an Ultimate or just a Ghost would be fine. Last pack of Judgment of the Light. We have Star Seraph Sage, Bujin Regalia, the sword. We have Saragasso, Kuj Kuja Kaju Kaku. We have Vertical Landing, Bujin Fidel, Shark Cesar, number 102, Star Seraph Sentry, and last pack, we have a Galaxy Serpent, the Vanilla tuner we'll take it okay so two supers one ultra one secret that's pretty good four out of nine is good for Yu Gi Oh. all right back to crimson crisis let's see if you can you know push back because they did pull a few foils there i'm surely some of those were money right surely some of them one two three we have blackwing sirocco the dawn fake explosion flip flop frog solar nutrient we have morphtronic rusty engine half or nothing submarine frog Glad you be Sam Knight and the fake explosion. Wait, is this the genie from Aladdin going on here? What's going on? Looks like they're in the desert. We got a genie back there. Two more packs on the right side. Uh, one, two, three. Can we get the, what's he called? The, uh, blah, no, black wing. The assault mode, the uh, red dragon archfiend assault mode. There we go. Morphtronic. We have metaphysical regeneration, verted sanctuary. Rocks and special. Six scrolls. Salt teleport. We have twin sword marauder. Morphtronic mix up. Sold armor and ah, the red dragon archfiend assault mode. That's the one I remember the name just in time for the ultimate rare. So we didn't get an ulti in Judgment of the Light, but we did get an ulti in Crimson Crisis. The cover card has been pulled. That'll certainly add some value. I don't think this is a crazy valuable card. I think it's like 13 bucks or something like 13 to 15. Uh, hopefully it's gone up since then because that seems very low for an awesome card like this. Wow, that is amazing. But this is a mint one, so you know, I could add a little bit of value to it. So, uh, okay, that's gonna help with the box value though. All right, what an amazing box so far. We've already pulled a, a Blackwing Armor Master. We pulled a Ultimate Rare Assault Mode. I mean, this is just, it's good. This is our last half or last part of the right side. I just ripped that pack. One, two, three, here we go. We have Morphtronic Mix-Up, Assault Teleport, Morphtronic Map, Assault Mercenary. We have Assault Counter, Trap Eater, Prevention Star, BS Big Core MK2 and Summon Reactor SK. So nothing in that last pack on the right side, but we still have a lot of packs to be opening this video. It's gonna be a long video, guys. All right, speaking of cool products, we have a Heroic Challenger Champion, not Challenger, Excalibur. I was saying Excalibur together with Champion ended up in Challenger. So we get some cool packs out of three Photon Shockwave, two Galact Galactic Overlord. There are too many different words that sound the same. Okay, I'm opening this thing up. Five packs inside. The mystery box side definitely has a more interesting side. Like it's a bunch of different products and stuff. Uh, the question is, will he be able to pull it off? I mean, the promos are definitely going to help. Getting, I'm surprised he got all this for 240 because there's some good stuff down there. Uh, Heroic Champion Excalibur. This has got to be at least five, maybe even ten dollars for that promo pack. The heroic champion tins actually aren't that expensive, so it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good little value for what you get. You get some really old school packs. Photon Shockwave, which at this point is old school. It's 2012. You know, it's over 10 years, almost 12 years old. If we get a Ghost Ray Galaxy as Photon, never pulled it. I'll be very happy. We have Watt Cobra, Zen Mail Function. We have Ego Boost, Fiery Fervor. We have a Traffic Control, Sealing Ceremony, Ray Rider. Deep Dark Trap Hole and Alexandrite Dragon. So we're getting a lot of vanillas today. We got a vanilla tuner earlier. We got an Alexandrite Dragon. Very interesting. All right, back to Galactic Overlord. I feel like the mystery box is doing pretty well, even with that um, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault mode pull. I feel like they're keeping up. We have Watt Tail Dragon. This one's definitely warped. Check that out. A little warpage going on. Uh, Evil Tile Berserk Scales. Gauntlet Phantom Bouncer. Camera Claps. Booten, little booten. Evo Diversity and oh baby Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Old 
ultimate rare the cover card has been pulled oh yes right out of a tin that is beautiful Woo! okay one second to appreciate that card i mean some of these exceeds ultis are pretty dark it's like kind of hard to see them but if you get them in the right light they're really beautiful that is really awesome a lot of people don't like the new style ulti which is, i mean it's not that new anymore obviously it's from 20 10, 20, 11, whenever they started it. I feel like the mystery box is doing pretty good. We're picking it up. We've got some good pulls today. I would love to continue that. Galaxy has Photon. I would love for you to be involved. One, two, three. We have the Vylon Oom. Get fro. Maybe that's why it was warped. We have Vigilance. We have Bridge. Wind Up Bat. Evo Miracle. We have Photon Lead. Tyrant's Throws. And Stinging Swordsman. Sure, Stinging Swordsman. Okay. Back to Covalor. We've already pulled one of the best cards. The Ghost Rare would be nice. I'd be okay with that. One, two, three. The Xyz Ghost Rares are fire. Okay, Lady of D. Lady of D. Wattail Dragon. We have Sealing Ceremony. Nomadic. Dragon. Ruxin Special. Right past Hyrat Xeal of the Sun Dragon. Light Ray Gear Freed. And another Xyz. Shining Elf. The little elf has been pulled. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got another Photon Shockwave. I was about to move on to Crimson Crisis. Totally forgot about that. All right. What else you got? One, two, three. We've got a Damage Diet. Space Cyclone. Rux is special. Seeing Swordsman. Evil Tile. Seeing Ceremony of Sutton. Slots. Naturia Marin. Gem Knight Emerald. And Ego Boost. The boost of the Ego. I know. I can tell you who's going to need one of those. It's Crimson Crisis. Because look, they are on your tail. You've pulled the cover card and they are still trying to track you down. Can we get that Ghost Rider? Really? I mean, that would put some distance between them. We have Dupe Frog. Raptor Wing Strike. We have the Twin Sword Marauder. Morphtronic Board. Ivy Shackles. Morphtronic Slingin. Vengeful Servant. Shining Silver Force and a Bone Crusher Ultra. This is one that I feel like I always get out of this set. I don't remember it being great. Uh, it's not a very good one, but it is an Ultra. Nonetheless, we'll take it. Okay, two more here before we go back to the mystery box. But I feel like these are the ones where I always have to just guess what the score is. And then people are like, ha ha, never knows the score. I'm sorry. I'm not a walking TCG player, uh, but I wish I was. I'm trying to work on it. But if I had to guess, which I like to, I mean, it's fun. It's fun for me to be wrong, to be honest with Maiko. Desert Protector, a little Star Wars action right there. I would say the mystery box is ahead, if I had to guess. Based on the promos and then a big ultimate rare to kind of match the one over a Crimson Crisis. And I'm pretty sure that Crimson Crisis one isn't super expensive. So I think it's pretty easy to match. A Metaphysical Regeneration in terms of value. A Protector, we have Submarine Frog, Blackwing Board of the Spear, Raptor Wing, we have Indomitable Gladiator Beast, we have Wall of Thorns, and... Oh, Doom Kaiser Dragon Assault Mode. That's cool. This is a card that I've always thought is super cheap for how like awesome it looks. It's just not very good in terms of like playability, even in like Edison and stuff. I think that they might play one sometimes in some of the decks. And it's only in like the zombie diva hero deck. So, or whatever you even call that. Zombie hero, maybe. Probably not diva hero. Even the ulti of that card's cheap. First ad, it's like, it's like 20 bucks or something like that. Maybe even less. The next one, speaking of awesome stuff, GX Next Generation. Three old school, old school, like GX, which GX at this point is old school. Doesn't matter what you think. I mean, it's, it's what, 2004-ish, 2005 to 2007, 2008 early 2008 that is old okay that's 15 plus years for everything so i mean that is old at this point the beginning of gx is almost 20 years old all right the promo is whitehorn dragon honestly this one looks pretty good okay it has a little spot from there that makes sense Woo, calm down but yeah that's that's inevitable with those usually it's the whole card that's been so that's as good as we're gonna get three packs okay we've got some good ones here let's go shadow of infinity still have never pulled a sacred beast guys i mean i am cursed with the sacred beast i cannot pull on one two three i'm gonna do four i think Four is fine here. We have Ed, End of the World, not Edge of the World. And Gokipon, Samsara, Chain Thrasher, Ancient Gear Factory, Trial of the Princesses, Miracle Kids, Parasitic Tiki. Oh, and there it is. The one that always makes an appearance, Divine Dragon Excelion. And usually it's an ulti. And it's like an $8 ulti in first edition. It's absolutely depressing every time. So not as bad when it's just one pack. Elemental Energy, I know that super's not a dollar. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Elemental Energy can have some pretty big ones. That we could get, oh, four, not five, or not three. Infernal Incinerator, Level Modulation, The Forces of Darkness, Oja Muscle, Ruxin Special, Hydra Get On, Rollout, Zero Night of Dark World, 
Gateway to the Dark World and a Hero Barrier GX. Come on, Cybernetic Revolution. You're going to pull something, right? You're going to pull something big. I believe in you, Cybernetic Revolution. One, two, three. We have uh, Spiritual Fire Rod Kudanai. Arrival appears. Protective Soul Aelin. Jerry Beans, man. Jerry, a bean soldier, believes he is the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. I think I had a little voice crack there. Cyclopean, we have Batter Mancy. Jetroid, Magical Explosion, and give us a Cyber Dragon or a Death Frog. It's frog time, everybody. All right, the next three Crimson Crisis, they really, they really need a Ghost Rider, I think. Based on what's coming up, like the last thing that I didn't see initially, that is going to be a game changer. It's going to be really hard for the box to win. We have Metaphysical Regeneration, Vengeful Servant. I think if you guys had seen what the Mystery Box had and weren't guessing blindly, which, you know, made it fun, but I think you would have picked the Mystery Box. We have Raptor Wing just because of some stuff coming up. And Dimension Fortress Weapon, another super. We'll take it. What does this card do? Cards cannot be sent from the deck to the graveyard. I think I remember this. Kind of like a tech and some random things. Cannot be sent from deck to the graveyard, but you got to keep it on the field. That's the problem. Crimson Crisis. Second pack in this lot. One, two, three. We are down to only like eight packs left. We have Ebon Arrow in terms of the Crimson Crisis. Dark Tanker. Spell Reactor. We have Morphtronic Force Field. Doof Frog. Raptor Wing Strike. Planet Pollution Virus. And Morphtronic Slingin. The Sling, the Sling, the Slingin. Crimson Crisis. Here we go. One, two, three. What shall we get? We have Morphtronic Borden, Descending Lost Star, Hydra Viper, Nightmare Archfiend, Six Scrolls of the Samurai. Morphtronic Mix Up. Give us a Ghost Rare, please. Be list Soldier. Never pulled this one. I would like to add it to, you know, pull in every Ghost Rare, Debris Dragon, and Verdant Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is Verdant. It is not a field spell, though. All right, we are back to there's just a random assortment of packs here we have duels pack yuki we have zane truesdale generation force two of those oh, royal mega pack and en royal mega pack that's gonna add a lot of value let's just go for it there was a lot more packs i think in the mystery box too like they had the number of packs and they had the advantage on like better packs well not all of them like crimes of crisis is a good core set but the thing is like those side sets usually pull a little bit better because there's like reprints and stuff we have hero signal fusion sage we have wing karibo okay we got a wing karibo a sparkman and a poly pretty classic Jaden. i mean like Wink Revo is his main guy. We got the Sparkman, it's a hero, and then a Polly and a Fusion Sage to search it. Pretty cool pack, actually. Zane Truesdale, very hard pack to find, especially first ed. This is one that took me a while when I did every pack opening the first time when I was when I actually gathered them. The last time I didn't actually gather them mostly. We have the uh limited removal. We had uh trap gem gather them myself, I mean. We have power bond, defusion, and attack reflector unit. I mean, Zane Truesdale, they hit these duelist pack. You're getting the Zane cards, you're getting the Jaden Yuki cards, but we're not getting any foils though. The problem, yeah, the problem in those is there's not a lot to really pull because there's only like one ultra and stuff like that. Generation Force, though, was a pain in our butt for a long time, but we finally did pull the number 17 Leviathan Dragon. We have Crash Bug Z, Damage of Vaccine Max, we have Future Glow, Sleep at the Switch, we have Master of the Flaming Dragon Swords, Tyrant's Tummy Ache, Goblin Burg. Painful Return and a Thunder Short, the Short of Thunder. Let's do a Elemental Energy. This thing's warped like crazy. I hope that means there's something crazy in here. Maybe that means it's warped because there's a foil. I think back in the day, you could actually kind of feel them. That's what I've heard. I never actually did that because I wasn't that smart. Okay, yeah, like, look at this. This is crazy. The whole pack is warped, though, so I'm guessing that's not because of one card, but we'll see. Weed out. Let's weed. <laughs> All double blowing babies will be beaten senseless by Abel Avery Bottle, Patron, and the Bart, and the Bart. We have a uh, dark wind thorn or dark world lightning and oh, it might have been because of the ulti. Oh, both ulti pack or two of the ulti packs have been warped. We have Brawn, Mad King of the Dark World. Check that out. That thing is beautiful. It has a really good texture. I think it's like a $3 card. So like I'm getting excited because it's awesome. It's not going to add a lot of value, but look at it. It's beautiful. I mean, it's really awesome. That's a three. That's worth three dollars, in my opinion. Like if you're buying it for three bucks, that's a great deal. I mean, that's a really cool card. Generation Force. If you want a cool looking ultimate rare, I mean, you can get some of them for really cheap in those on limbs. All right. Leviathan Dragon. We're pulling pretty crazy today. I'm liking this. We have Laval Magma. Legendary Windup Key. Pokey Draco. We have Aqua Jet. Gym Elephant. Interesting. Uh, cracking. We have Past Image. A Resonance Device. And... Milla, the Temporal Magician. Let's do the Raw Yellow Mega Pack. This is going to add some value right here. Like, the, everything's worth money. This Burst Cinetrix common is probably worth money. Okay, I'm just going to go straight through it because I don't know a pack trick. That's worth money. That's like three bucks for Stratus. We have Mudball Man. That could be money. We have the War Chariot. That could be money. Lightsworn Paladin. Might not actually be a dollar, actually. 
Hero Flash. That one might not be a dollar. Maybe they, maybe these are duds. We have DD Crow. I think that's probably a dollar, but they got a lot of ultra reprints, so maybe not. Rainbow Dark Dragon. What else? We have Mizuki. Mizuki could be money. So a lot of good commons. Honestly, not a great pack for Raul Mega Pack. And by by four your Raul Mega Pack, I mean what to expect because there's some crazy stuff you can get in there. We have Elemental Energy here. 2006 pack, I believe it could be late 2005. This is one that I might miss if I was asked the question on guess that price season. Do go check it out if you haven't already. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare right here. Ultimate rare, elemental hero. Let's see, boss rush. I don't even know if you can get them out. Oh, this is a random pack, so this could be hobby. Chthonium Palmer, we have beige. Rocks and special, non fusion air. Actually, I don't know if they have hobby unlimited in A. I'm not totally sure. Scar, we have reborn zombie. Actually, get on and oh, VWXYZ dragon catapult cannon. I thought we got a hero for a second. I was like, oh, baby. Not a hero, but a very cool and classic card. I mean, the XYZ stuff was pretty popular for Kaiba. Okay, at some point, I forgot to open one of the Crimson Crisis because we have seven left, but that's okay. Uh, and then we've got another one more product for the mystery box, which I think the mystery box has now pulled ahead. The ghost rare is really what they need, I think. Assault Slash, to be sure. B list, we have Assault Teleport, Mortronic Slankin, Vengeful Servant, Assault Mercenary. Even with that, I don't know if I can beat this last product. We have Star Blast. Put your guesses in the comments right now. If you're watching at, this is 42 minutes for me, but it's probably shorter for you. Whatever minute mark this is, guess what this last product is. It's one of those ones that I tend to do when we're talking big value for pulls. Half or nothing, we have Six Scrolls, Assault Teleport, Verdant Sanctuary, Trap Reactor Wi-Fi, Ebon Arrow, Flip Flop Frog, I'm looking around, I'm trying to make sure we're recording, and oh, a secret rare Puppet King. So we got a secret out of the box. We also got an ulti out of the box, that's so pretty good. I, can you get a secret ulti in Ghost? I'm not actually sure. I've never personally opened one like that, but we'll have to see. Puppet King, I don't know if that adds a lot. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking card. It's not necessarily one that I even remember exists, but now I do. I just pulled it. Trojan Gladiator Beast, we have Assault Overload. Let's get the Ghost right here. Nightwing, that would be extremely exciting. Super Solar. Rusty Injun, half or nothing, synchro change, and a scanner. <laughs> got a little scan in action going. We've got the scanner. This is one I always pull as well. All right, the final product of the mystery box. Did you guys guess it? It's Legendary Collection 2. Amazing pulls in here. It's unlimited, of course, because, you know, there's no first set of the game board. There's a first set, but it's like uh, in the binder. So I think it's usually a $75 to $100 product. So this was a decent chunk of the value. Here are the promos. We're going to put that at five bucks for this. Uh, it could be a little bit more, but I think it's about five. Okay, five packs here. Then we go to our last four Crimson Crisis where they may need the ghost share after this because there is usually amazing pulls out of this set. Let's see. Non-fusion area. We have Cold Enchanter. Clear World. There's our super. Secret Rare Darius, that's usually like $6. We have a Kid Guard, that's a bad one actually. Uh, Crystal Blessing, not crazy. So honestly, not a backbreaker there. I mean, there's good cards in there, but nothing too insane. Crimson Crisis is just trying to hold on. They're taking punches. They're waiting for the clock to run. Like, come on, please don't pull anything crazy. I think we can do two. I'm gonna do two. We have Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. It's a good card, but I don't know if it's money. We have Cyclone Blade, Thunder Giant, all the elemental heroes, you never really know. They could be a dollar. Edge Hammer, Infernal Wing usually is a dollar or two. We have Power Bond Seeker. That's probably pretty decent. White Knight Dragon, not a great one here. And Destiny Hero Defender. I like the White Knight Dragon Secret from Ancient Prophecy. It looks so much better than the Ultra, but it's not exactly a value card or anything. Okay, so honestly, these could be a lot worse, but even then, it's still probably $10 in value minimum. So that's going to be a lot to come back when, you know, the ulti, the best card pulled out of Crimson Christ is like 15 bucks. Neo Space and Grand Mole. We have Destiny Signal, Wild Heart, Chamberlain, D Counter. DD Crow, another DD Crow. So you have Rod Yellow Mega Pack and Legendary Collection GX. Necro is actually under a dollar last I checked, so that's not great. It's actually a really bad pack. Wow. Okay. I'm just rooting for the box to have a chance. And right now, I think they might have it. I mean, the Ghost Rare, they're definitely going to win with the Ghost Rare, I think, at this point. So that's what they at least need to be in that range to have a chance. We have Crystal Beast, Topaz, Tiger, Rux, and Special Transcendent Wings. Judgment Dragon had a lot of common printings. I doubt it's money. We have Bubble Man. Inferno Wing again. Darken Dragon is a couple bucks thanks to Edison, so pretty good. Lightning Dragon is one that looks like it'd be money, but it's not. And then Neo Space. Honestly, this is like one of the worst GXs I've ever opened. We haven't pulled any Cyber Dragons, E Hero, Secrets, anything like that. So it still like has money cards. That's why I like this set so much. So even when it's terrible, it's still pretty good. We have here. Okay, let's see what we can get. Success probability zero. There's also some commons in here, like Raikou we haven't pulled. Uh, Raikou. No, that's Pokemon. Thunder King Ryo. There we go. <laughs> Golden January of System Down. Elemental Hero. Evil Hero Lightning Golem. Oh, and there's a big one. We have a Shining Flare Wingman. I don't think it's crazy, but it's still probably like eight bucks, seven bucks. Rainbow Dragon, decent. 
and Crystal Abundance. So overall, it wasn't like a $75 one where you pull like crazy amounts, but still that added a lot of value. And that leaves us with our final four packs of Crimson Crisis. We need something big. Like we're going to need like, I don't even know. Like there could be like some good supers and stuff like that in here because it's 5Ds. Like there's always like a $12 super in all the sets. Ghost Shirt would definitely win it, I think. We have Ebon Arrow. We have Dark Tinker. He's tinking around. We have Super Solar Nutrient, Assault Mode Activate, Nightmare Archfiends, Six Roll of the Samurai, Shining Silver Force, and another Dimension Fortress weapon. Okay, so no cards will be sent from deck to graveyard. They really don't want that to happen. A dupe on the super rares. Three packs left. You know what I take a dupe of? Or a Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. Maybe in ghost form. I'd be a nice dupe. The Ultra would be pretty cool as well. One, two, three. We have the Assault Mercenary. Come on, Ivy Shackles. If you guys have enjoyed this long video, make sure to subscribe and make sure to shout out Happy in the comments for being clutch at sending us this awesome box. Hopefully, you will enjoy the pull. Psychic Tuning and Descending Lost Star. Hopefully, the battle's been fun as well. If we could end it with a ghost in the last two packs to take the lead, how cool would that be? Like a buzzer beater. All right, game winning shot. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. We have Prevention at Staw, Desert Protector, Salt Core. Psychic Sword, Salt Slash, Beadless Soldier, Salt Teleport, Blackwing Gale of Whirlwind, and Trap Eater. It's all going to come down to the final pack. Here we go. Send some luck in the comments for Happy. Let's see if we can get that ghostly pull. Will the booster box be able to pull it out or will the mystery packs prevail? One, two, three. We have Flip Flop Frog, Metaphysical Regeneration, Verdant Sanctuary, Beadless Soldier, Mortronic Force Field, Spell Reactor Re Cross Sword Beetle. We have an Alien Overlord and our last pack. Here we go. Make sure you guys go check out my profile on Whatnot if you haven't recently. We have some shows scheduled. Go follow them over there because we've been doing a lot of streams over there. It's pretty fun. I want you guys to see them. Here we go. Last card magic. Let's see. Ebon Arrow. Okay, so nothing in that last pack. Here's the final score. I'm guessing I'm probably wrong because I'm always wrong when I say this, but I'm guessing the mystery box won big. We'll have to see when the edit's done. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Anana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.